Isaiah. Welcome to Expletive Added. I'm Jack Silverson. I'm Red Oslot. And this is Nights into Dreams for the Sega Saturn slash PS2 slash PS3 slash PC slash Xbox 360. Yeah. That. And that last bit of anecdote, I'm sure many people were very happy for, because the longest time in the U.S., this was Saturn exclusive. And yep. if you wanted to play it, fuck you. <laughs> exactly. So we're having to do post-commentary because we had a uh, recording hiccup the first time. Anyways, Everything in this game, will be good now. We follow the dreams of two young Japanese children. Claris. And come on, come on, switch over. Switch over, damn it. Yeah. Maybe we, not. Anyways, Claris wants to sing in her uh, town's celebration. It's like the 100 years anniversary of Twin Seeds, and she wants to sing in the celebration because she wants to be up on stage and such, but she's got terrible, terrible stage fright, and her nightmares plague her over this. Meanwhile, our other character, Elliot, who you just saw flash by... Wants to play basketball and be the best at basketball amongst his friends, but he's getting his ass kicked by rivals, so he's not going to be good at basketball. So he needs to get better at basketball. 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 Yeah, Claire's is the far more interesting character here, and I feel she has the better levels. Not that Elliot's are bad. In fact, he has my, aesthetically one of my favorites in this game. But yeah, we're going to be starting out with Claris. Playing her first stage, Spring Valley. You know what I love? What's that? If the Deadpool sequel was announced before Deadpool even came out. <laughs> they just knew it was going to be that good. This is a lot better structure during our original run of commentary. Because I could explain things a lot easier. Without having to hang out on the uh, character select screen for so long. Yeah. But anyways, Clara, stage one, Spring Valley. The ideal. To explain some game mechanics better, I'm gonna have to look something up. Really? Indeed. Okay, let's get the basics out of the way first. Children's dreams are made up of, of four little balls called idiot. What idiot? Idiot each represent a facet of life. But when coming into their dreams, the nightmare and capture the idiot and turn them into bad dreams. Anywho, special. Regular children have only the four main idia, the blue, green, yellow, and white. But special children have the red idia, which represents courage, which will allow them to fight back against the Night Baron. And fuse with knights and fly around, as you can see here. Furthermore, it also allows knights to get out of that cage he's trapped in. Yeah, knights get stuck in that, knights get stuck in that cage a lot. Oh, by the way, I should point out that we're going to refer to knights as he, just based on hearsay. But the thing is, knights is completely genderless. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, that's a point with his character, that he's genderless. So, uh, two of my favorite Deadpool characters are supposed to be in Deadpool 2, and I didn't even know about it until I started reading about it. Oh, really? Domino and Black Tom. Oh. And guess what? Josh Brolin signed a four-movie deal to be Cable. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, several other actors have been confirmed in undisclosed roles. Anywho, this is the basic gameplay of Nights. You fly around and collect these little orbs called blue chips. Once you have 20 blue chips, you can destroy one of the monsters that are holding one of the idiot captives. Once you get it back, what you might think would be a race to get back to the Knights capture to put the idiot away is not. Instead, you got to go around and get, get as many points as possible to get the best rank. As we can see here, I scored an A rank on this first round. I wonder what's going to happen to all the, like, film contracts that they've signed for all the future X-Men movies if the uh, Fox merger goes through. Huh. If that Fox sale, I mean, it's not a merger, it's a sale. Seems weird. 
He's trying to do a para loop here and it just doesn't want to work. Yeah, it doesn't want to register. Sometimes it's weird like this. It's a lot more consistent in the Wii game because the sparkles are a lot easier to see. Yeah. Anyways, what a para loop is is what we were just describing. A para loop is when that little twinkle dust flying off of my tans, pulling a complete circle, it makes a vortex that sucks at everything around it. Yeah. It's useful for grabbing things, and you can even grab things out of the foreground and background, as we can see here. This game rocks. See, uh, this is basically turning the 2D aspect of Knights on its head when you can still interact with stuff that is not immediately accessible to you via the para loop. I feel like this exact song is in a level of Sonic Adventure. Um, no, it is not. You sure? Pretty sure. It's super familiar all of a sudden. Like, I didn't notice it until just now. Okay. The five idia are red, white, yellow, blue, and green. Each of them, they represent... Red represents courage, white represents purity, blue represents intelligence, green represents growth, and yellow represents hope. And the five of these together make some badass dreams, you can see here. I mean, shit, have you ever dreamed anything this vivid? Look at this. It's fucking incredible. All these mountains and everything. And upside down trees and shit. Elliot Edwards and Clara Sinclair. Every night, all humans' dreams are played out in Nightopia and Nightmare, two parts of the dream world. In Nightopia, distinct aspects of dreamers' personalities are represented by lum luminous colored spheres known as Idia. However, the evil ruler of Nightmare, Wise Man the Wicked, is stealing this energy from sleeping visitors in order to gather power to take control of Nightopia and eventually the real world. To achieve this, he creates uh, numerous beings called Nightmarin, including two acrobatic jester, jester-like flight-capable beings called Knights and Riala. However, Knights rebels against wise, uh, Wiseman and, punish, and is punished by being imprisoned inside an Idiot Palace, a gazebo-like container for a dreamer's idiot. One day, Ed, uh, Elliot and Claris, children from the city of Twin Seeds, go through failures. Elliot likes to play bas basketball, but is challenged by kids from other grades and loses. Claris wants to sing and play, but is overcome by stage fright. That night, the two of them arrive in the dream world and suffer nightmares about these incidents. They escape into Nightopia and find that each possess a rare red idiot of courage, the only type Wiseman cannot steal. They release Knights, who tells them about dreams and Wiseman and his plans, and the three begin a journey to stop Wiseman and restore, restore peace to Nightopia. That was the more in-depth plot summary of this game. But as you can see, the game isn't truly concerned about its plot. Well, it is in the second game, but we'll get to that. Spring Valley, also called the Ideal at the beginning of the game, is the first dream of Claire Sinclair. This dream was created from the ideal existence of a paternal figure in Claire's consciousness. It's set in a mountainous, rich region, rich with water and vegetation. Sparkling water from the melted snow in the mountains flows down to its low points. Spring Valley is the first dream of Claris. After retrieving the idia from the idia capture. Fucking scorpion things! You were they, gonna say those bastards fucking me up a lot. They encounter Gelwing. Elliot appears here, but only in his ending movie. Uh, keep that page handy. We'll, we might need those to explain the rest of the stages. I'm going to. But, as they come up, obviously. Otherwise, we're gonna just blow our load on this episode alone, and you'll have to keep coming back in this episode to uh, see what the fuck we're talking about. Yep. We'll tell the story of each level when we get to them. Yeah, this was done entirely in one session, so it's not going to be difficult. Yeah. 